Hi, I'm here with Brian Farrell, Sparky, I call you, in this yeah, uh, you. beautiful outdoor resort. You know, it's uh, mostly motorhomes, but they are fantastic. And I know you are the coach here, and uh, yeah. yeah, and you found a place for me for the tournament in Indian Wells. Such a beautiful place, great weather, great course. How many courts do you have here? There are 14 courts. Uh, we have two major clubhouses, each with a, a bank of four courts and a swimming pool and, and clubhouse facility. And then there are six courts that are spread out around the resort, uh, each with its own swimming pool, laundry facility, and, uh, and bathroom facility. Sparky, do you teach here all year round? Because it gets very hot over here, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm here for three and a half to four months. I usually come in mid-December, go back to my, uh, my residence uh, mid-April. I live in Northern California, 200 miles north of San Francisco in the Redwoods. Um, I run my own tennis facility called Eel River Tennis. I uh, have my own tennis court. I uh, do a tennis program for the Benbow Inn, which is a uh, five-store resort. Uh, they have a golf course and, a, and an RV park, as well as the inn itself. It's a beautiful spot. We're up in the Redwoods. The, the scenery, the hiking, uh, the ocean, everything is, is nearby. It's, uh, it's a wonderful place. Wonderful. How do you get into MTM? Well, actually, through exposure to you on, uh, on the Internet was my first, uh, my first uh, look at you. And uh, I'm, I'm USPTA certified teaching pro, and um, I liked what you had to say. I liked, it made sense to me. From the beginning? From the beginning. I've been playing tennis since I was eight years old, and, uh, and so I was steeped in the conventional method, but knew that there were limitations, and, uh, and un unfortunately I felt the limitations in my game. And I, I like everything that you, come out with. It all makes sense to me. It's so much easier. It's uh, so much safer, in my view, physically. Uh, I uh, recently uh, released uh, the application for tactics, the wild card, and, uh, and I was uh, told you about it. Have you downloaded it? I did. I captained one of the teams here as well, and uh, so far I have my players entered into the database with their game styles. Yeah, let's see what happens with results. Right. right because well, results always tell. Sure. That's the main thing. If you, you do something, you know, if you get good results, then it means it works. That's and, exactly right. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I plan to also uh, use the app with, uh, with one of the ladies' teams that I coach. I coach a, three five, a couple of 3-5 ladies' teams here. And, uh, and I would like to be able to use that uh, and offer that up to them so they can see what it's about. Which I'll be working on that too. I allowed for a lot of creativity from coaches, so that was my intention. So I would like uh, to know if you felt you could be creative without those parameters that most, I created. I most certainly did. The, um, uh, of course, the, my main clientele here at Outdoor Resort is, uh, is seniors. And so their well-being and their health, their physical condition, the issues, injuries that they've had are, are holding them back, or so they feel. And I've, so my creativity part of this has been to be more focused on injury prevention within your program, which I find it lends itself very well to. Super. Yeah, I found over the years that, you know, the open stands really help with the knees. Oh, yeah, yeah, especially Absolutely. for seniors. In, even, you know, for little kids it makes the tennis easier, but for seniors it's major. And also, you know, the racket up and straight arm, you know, it creates a lot of tennis elbow, while this system with a racket looser and you just let the racket move more naturally, I actually have made people feel a little better about a tennis elbow. Some have taken out their bands, you know, and all that. Well, so that's, has it happened to you? Oh, absolutely. I see the, they all come out the first time and they all have bands on or straps or braces and and I always make the comment that we're probably going to lose those things pretty soon and, yeah. and surprising not surprisingly but uh, they do lose it they do I see the people now with with no braces on no more the knee braces and, and certainly no more the uh, elbow things. Yeah, and the way we teach you know ball is going across also less stress 
especially the serve, you know, bending and using the triceps mm -hmm. rather than using the shoulder for seniors, then it's measured too. So maybe you should change the name here to the <laughs> tennis hospital, you know, well, hearing people of I, I, I will certainly use that in my own average. <laughs> Sparky, it's been a pleasure being here. Thank you for wonderful hospitality. The clinics that we run oh, they were, were they wonderful, were. a lot of fun, and you're a great guy. Oscar, thank you. I, I can't tell you how much I've gotten out of your visit here and, and doing the clinics with you. Uh, I. I got the opportunity to watch you deal with people close up, and I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. Pleasure for me, too. Thank you.